One woman's call for action after a cremation gone wrong led us to discover a problem much more widespread. Half a dozen or more residents are now calling for action too after learning that the cremation company they've signed policies with is no longer in the state. So how do you make afterlife plans ahead of time with the assurance that everything will be taken care of? Our Leah Lindshine has that answer tonight. This call for action report comes after another successful one when a Stoughton woman lost her husband to a sudden heart attack. But when she called her cremation company, no one picked up on the other line. Now other folks in southern Wisconsin with policies through that same company are wondering whether they'll pick up for them. We had a western wear in Oregon for a couple years. It's been an active 80 years of living. I had horses and I had seven children. For Roger Nelson. And they all had a horse to ride. His gait, once a gallop, is now a little slower. But still, the thought of stopping cold scares him. I don't want to be laying underground the rest of my life. So Roger's opting for cremation. He already prepaid more than $2,000 for the urn and the service through the Neptune Society. I thought it was time to uh, get a little bit prepared. But a recent call for action report on News 3 featuring Neptune caught Roger's attention. When I was watching TV and the lady said that she dialed the number and nobody answered, I got a little concerned. Roger is one of at least half a dozen concerned customers who called us when they saw that report. Yeah, this is Roger Nelson of Madison, Wisconsin. None of them were informed that Neptune left Wisconsin three years ago. I never heard one word from them, no. They are fully valid and all the benefits of their original policy remain in effect. We got a hold of the Fairhaven Society based out of Georgia, which we discovered now owns all Neptune's cremation contracts here in Wisconsin. It is still servicing those policies now through a funeral home in Milwaukee. Nothing has changed. This is the worst moment in your life and we're there to try to facilitate as best we can for you. Given this circumstance, we wanted to know how to make the best laid plans for when you're laid to rest. So we asked Madison's Crest Funeral Home for some suggestions. First, I would start with the familiar. Go local at a funeral home you can physically visit, maybe one your family has even used before. Then, as we process into the crematory, actually go visit. Ask if you can tour it. Will they even let you tour it? Many crematories, especially low budget ones, are in warehouses or garages. In this area, there's a uh, cremation society where they, the crematory is in northern Wisconsin. And whatever policy you go with, you should purchase it here in Wisconsin, where state law will allow you to use your planning money wherever in the country you choose. That's not the case in all states. In Wisconsin, when you advance plan, 100% of the monies that you would set aside are trusted. If you would pass away in Florida and use a Florida funeral home, you've got your insurance trust and you can walk into that funeral and say, you know, here's the money for paying for my funeral. Roger did buy his Neptune policy here in Wisconsin. And while the funeral home that will service his contract is located in Milwaukee, Neptune has assured him he'll be covered when Roger's ride comes to an end. Because of our call for action story, the cremation service Fairhaven Society plans to send out a letter to all its customers, letting them know their policies are still sound. With this call for action report, I'm Leah Lynchide for WISC News 3.